Hi, George here, and today I'm going to be installing a new KVM switch onto my computer system. And the switch I'll be using is from TE Smart right there. The KVM switch, which is keyboard, video, and mouse, allows you to use one keyboard and mouse with one or more computers and one or more monitors. In my particular setup, I'll be using two computers with one monitor and the one keyboard and mouse. The switch I'll be using is from TE Smart. And since I have all HDMI connections, I'm going to be needing a KVM switch going down to HDMI. Now I just have just the one monitor, one keyboard mouse, and I have two computers. So let's scroll down here and find one that works. And right there, that's the one that's going to work for us. That will handle those two computers and one monitor and one keyboard and mouse combination. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's inside this package. Okay, at the top here, we have our operating manual, user's manual right there. Let's take a fast look through here. Looks nice and complete, diagrams front and back, how to use and so forth. There's the actual switch. Let's just get this out of this packaging and see what we have in here. Now it's a metal case, it's not plastic, it's nice metal. Nice clean front. Let's see what we have on the back, back here. And there's all the ports that plug everything out on the back side and that looks just fine. Bottom's also metal with rubber feet. That should work out great. Okay, there's our on off switch. And let's see what else we have hiding underneath here. This bit of cardboard out of the way. A couple of boxes. We'll do the left one first. Get this out of there. And let's just open that up. And okay, that's the power supply. And right here is the remote control. This has a remote for switching back and forth between your computers. You can also switch using the keyboard or using a mouse motion or also just clicking on the front panel of the switch. And the remote takes two AAA batteries, which are not included, so I'll have to add those in and let's take a look at the power supply right here, standard power supply and that plugs into the back of the switch. And the second box, this should be our cables. Let's go ahead and get this stuff out of the way and we'll make sure we have our cables in here. Okay, there's the end that opens up and two cable sets, that's one for each computer and each cable has one HDMI cable and one USB cable. And let's see, there we go, both ends, same thing. Both cables are exactly the same. Just take a fast look at the ends on this one. And there we go. We'll pull that protector off when we begin to plug things together. Okay, so there's our cables and there's the basic switch. Let's now see how we're gonna be setting this whole thing up. Okay, I already have the computer side of these cables plugged in and that's the video ports plugged in and also the USB ends into free USB ports. This is the right side computer, this is the left side computer. Now I need to reverse the position because of course we're looking at the switch backwards here. So the right side goes into the left set of ports right there, the video and the USB port. And the left side goes into the right side ports. You'll see why in just a moment. Let's just make sure we get this thing in correctly. There we go, that's correct. Okay, and then the video, plug that in right there. And then when I flip this around, there we are. We now have the cables going in the correct direction, left for the left computer and right for the right computer. And we're now all set to get this set up. This is my left side computer. It's an older Lenovo Think Center. And I use this for tracking email, also for keeping an eye on comments on YouTube. And this is my second computer. It's an HP office computer. It's only about a year old at this point. And I use this for all of my work, all my video creation, all my Photoshop element stuff, all of that. And here's the old KVM switch that I'll be replacing attached to the bottom of my desk, along with a USB port extender. Here's my keyboard and mouse, and I'll be using this up here with my computer monitor right there. And I'll start off with putting the KVM switch right next to the monitor. We'll see how that goes. I may move it later on, we'll see. Okay, move the KVM switch to the left side of the monitor. That works better. And I have my two computers plugged in already. Let's now go ahead and plug in the keyboard, which is our first plug right here, just a USB connection. And then the mouse right next to that. And I'll plug in my USB extender. That has my printer attached to it. Plus a couple of other little things. Let's go ahead and get that in there. There we go. And then we have the video from the monitor plugs in, HDMI plug right here. And finally, I'll plug in that power cord. Okay, it's all plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn the power on right there. And we see an indicator light, so the power is on. We now can switch back and forth just by using that button on the front, or we can use the remote and switch between computers right here. You also can switch by using a keyboard shortcut, tap the scroll key twice, and then page up or page down button to switch. And you also can switch by tapping the right side of the computer screen two times with your mouse, and that also switches 
right there. I only have one problem with this whole setup and that was with my mouse. I have a Corsair Harpoon mouse right here and the switch was working for the mouse but the IQ software for the Harpoon wasn't recognizing the mouse so I had a little problem there. I had the exact same problem with my previous switcher so it's a software problem with the IQ software not with the switcher and the same solution worked in both cases. Let me show you what I did for that. It was simply a matter of going to the ports and unplugging the mouse from the mouse port and instead plugging it into the USB hub that I had plugged into the utility port and that solved that problem. Now, the last thing I did here just to kind of clean things up was to take the switcher from where I had it right now and add in a, another shelf right down below my main monitor shelf and then move the switcher down onto that second shelf and it's a lot cleaner now with all the cards being hidden by that top shelf so much cleaner setup. Okay so after trying this out and working with it for a couple of days I'm very happy with how the switcher works. Easy to set up, easy to use. I like that you have different ways of switching if you want to, different options for that. So I'd highly recommend this. There's a link in the description if you want to find out more about TE Smart Switchers. And I'll see you next time.